What is going on people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and welcome back to another league game. Today we're going up against Lopez Tavares. We have played them before. Very feisty game, but we have got them at home today in the league. And talking about the league, this is where Hashtag United are currently sitting. So we are sitting currently in third place and as you can see that it is very tight at the top but Lopez de Vares are sitting at 16th and they are not a team to be taken lightly so today we have definitely got a game on our hands but I definitely think it's fair to say including the Wembley Cup we haven't really been playing the football that we used to playing so fingers crossed we can go back to winning ways today and get to the top of the table come on boys see this You've got to get your heart pumping your blood flowing around your body does anyone want to pull muscles I know to tell you this one for one thing for sure me doing this, I'm going to be the one who doesn't pull muscles. Everyone else is. How does it feel to also get goal of the month? High five. Yeah, snap that. One goal in the month. Goal of the month. Goal of the month. One shot. You only get one shot. JLS makes it happen. That's what I do next month. Another goal of the month. Get one opportunity, take it. One opportunity a month is what I'm going to get. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Quote the film. Also, I'll give you another one. You're such a disease. Quote the film. Give you another one. You're a wizard, Harry. Quote the film. Give you another one. <laughs> Dev's team lose today, please. Uh, got a few back tonight. Um, Charlie's back. Ice is back. Theo's back. Um, Tash is back. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we've got a bit more strength in depth. Um, changes to the starting level. Lee Hursett misses out. Um, Lee's got a bit of a, a bit of an injury that we've got to manage, really. So, going uh, to, after 120 minutes on Saturday, it'd be too soon. So uh, we left him out completely tonight to, to rest him because otherwise there's there's the danger of there being a longer term uh, damage. So we'll, uh, we'll we'll manage that one carefully. Um, but so Tashan will come come back in. Other than that, it's pretty much the same side started, apart from the goalkeepers. Uh, AJ's in in tonight. Um, big game for us tonight. It's important we show a good response. Saturday. Peds, Hello. how are we? We haven't spoken to you on the vlog yet, but what I want to ask you is let the people know where you've been, the history, and how you know Devs. Okay, um, so I met Devs when I was about, probably about 18, uh, playing for Enfield. Nice. Um, that was 20 odd years ago, or just under. Um, also played for Leighton FC, Chesham, Boreham Wood, East Farrock, Redbridge. And then Tilbury, and then now here. No, I'm guessing you obviously got to know Devs. Was it for East Farrock? Mainly, yeah. Yeah. Well, originally it was at Redbridge. He managed okay. me there first. Then when he went to um, East Farrock, he asked me to come after we played them in a game, and then yeah, we spent about six years, seven years there. Decent. It's a healthy relationship. Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. Lee. Hello. I love you. You're, You're right. injured, aren't you? Is that, is that correct? Or um, being rested? Not injured. Basically, I need to manage a long term injury that I've got and I can't play too much. Is that the groin? Yes, yeah, the groin. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I need to manage how much I play. And obviously, if I played today and then again next Saturday, that would have been three games in, what, seven days, and I can't really do that. So That's fair enough. One game on a Saturday, one game on a Saturday is enough for me, otherwise I won't be able to cope. That's fair enough. How are you about it, though? Are you okay about it? I'm about, I, I'm good about it, because I know, I know that's what needs to be done. So, it's for my benefit at the end of the day. Of course, I want to be out there helping the team, but yeah. players are good, good enough to, to get the wins and see it through. I'm proud of you for having that attitude. Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm glad we're getting the chance to play tonight and we haven't got to wait a week to put Saturday behind us. We're playing against a team that lack discipline, lack kind of structure. We've got to make sure that we keep ours. Yeah, absolutely, discipline is the key to winning the game tonight. We've played them twice before. We know what they're like. We know them about individually. There's lots of flair. They will take risks. They will no doubt get out there, see that, and think, yes, we're going to go and we're going to play. And they will run with it. And then they will throw in drop shoulders and throw in tricks and flicks. We've got to make sure that we stay patient. We stay tight as a unit. We work hard to get the ball back. And we make them make mistakes because they will make mistakes and they will then give us chances. I expect us to have lots of chances. But they've also shown that they're capable of upsetting sides that are up, up there. They've taken points because they play with 
a lack of structure, a lack of discipline, and an element of freedom, I suppose. We don't know what we're going to get. If we start slow and we're on our heels and we're tentative about things, we'll invite them into the game, we'll encourage them, and we'll make it difficult for us. As long as our attitude's right, as long as the tempo's good to us, um, good to our play, then we'll be fine. If it doesn't happen straight away, stay patient. It will. It will come. Have conviction and belief in what we're doing going forward. When we get the white boys in, can we fill the box? Can you join Richo Tash as quick as you can? Can it be backed up by Jack? Let Jack, let Jack have his legs. Let him go. Yeah? You, you defensive shape, you draw it in. But I want you to join and get in the box because you can be a goal threat when you get in there. Come on, big job to do. Ladies and gents, welcome back to another Hashtag United home game in the league. Tuesday night, we're taking on Lopez Tavares for the third time this season. We've played him in a, uh, a, league, uh, a league game, which we won 2-0. Played him in a cup game before that, which we don't like talking about because we lost 4-0. Um, but it was a second string 11. It's not going to be a second string 11 tonight. If we win, we go back on top of the league where we belong. Joining me tonight for the co-commentary is none other than the scariest man in football and perhaps also water polo is Jamie Jackson. Good evening. Happy to be here. Over the moon, as always. It's as always you, a pleasure to be sat next to you, Spencer, and be on your payroll, of course. As you can tell, he means that. Um, talk to me about tonight's opponents, Jacko, and what you expected from the game. Very mixed bag of a side. Um, obviously, we played them twice. The first time was a bit of a washout in that cup game. Um, the second time we beat them 2-0 over at their place, it was, uh, it was a tough affair. I think Devs has touched on it as well. You don't really know what you're going to get out of them. They've shipped a lot of goals in the last five games, 29 goals in the last five. I know what Stats. I'm expecting tonight. I'm not going to go and throw it out there, but nothing less than a win. Yeah, we definitely want to win. This team have an uncanny ability to play the same players with a different name every time you play them. I don't know how they do it. It's very impressive. Uh, they've got the worst red card record in the league, although they haven't actually got one since we last played them. That was their last red card, and it happened against us. So, could be lively. We need to get back to winning ways after disappointing defeat in back-to-back -back cups. We're out the London Cup, and we're out the Wembley Cup. But we're still in the league and one more cup. We need a win. Let's take a look at the team. So the team tonight, starting off in goal, it's Andy Cade Watts. I'm joined by our other goalkeeper, Jamie Jackson. In defence, we've got Tom Williams. Simon Peds Peddy is back in the team again for his second game since signing for us, alongside Marcus Stamp in that new look partnership with Kane Brogham at right back. For Ryan Singano, still out injured. Jack Harrison, the skipper, moves into midfield in the absence of Lee Hursett, who picked up a knock on Saturday. Uh, alongside Jack Harrison is Ricky Evans in a tough tackling set midfield partnership. Ahead of them, we've got Harry Honesty on the left, Tashan Richmond behind the striker, Ryan Adams on the right, and the top goal scorer of the season so far, Neil Richo Richmond up top. On the bench, that leaves us a very attacking five options. Aaron Couch, Theo Baker, Isa, a.k.a. Tekka's Guru, Charlie Morley, and Daniel Adji. Now, what am I seeing on, uh, on Jack Harrison's head, Jacko? The Wally Band. Is this, is this a, a bet he's lost or has he hurt, he's, he's hurt himself? No, he had a nasty knock on Saturday okay. uh, in, the, in the cup game. Um, I think initially Stevie did think it would require stitches, but uh, Jack being the, uh, the skipper that he is, has braved through it, didn't actually go and have stitches, he's just cracked on with it and uh, it, it has reopened up a little bit uh, while he's been out there warming up, I believe, tonight. But Jack being the man that he is, he'll soldier on. Yeah, there's an interesting stat. I, you know, I think we've only actually won one game this season that Farai's not played in, and it was the cup game that went to penalties. Every other game we've won has had Farai in the team, so it says a lot about what he's been doing. Yeah, it was a great introduction. Obviously, he came to us, um, what were we, four games into the season, I believe. I think uh, he, he was He'd on been the... there since the start. He just hadn't been starting. He'd been on the bench. Oh, really? He played a few games at right back on yeah, the bench. I, obviously, I missed, I missed the first couple of games, so I wasn't aware of that. But yeah, he's been immense. Uh, the partnership in with Jack Ed has, has, has been a big part of our uh, our progression as a team this season. I enjoy being part of a team, and you, you feel a little bit out of it when you have a couple of weeks off. I know Andy feels the same. It's um, chance here, Ryan Adams. Sorry to interrupt you there. Oh, it's come back to him. It's got to be a goal, surely! Oh, and he's cleared off the line after Ryan hit it on his left foot. Keeper really should have had that one under control. What happened there, Jacko? Well, I think the uh, I think we've set the tone with the keeper already. Um, I think Ryan was surprised, to be honest, that it, it's popped out of his hands. He's got it, he's on his left peg. You do fancy him, 12 yards out, 13 yards out. But the defender's done well to get back there and, and not give it up. As we touched on earlier, Spen, you don't really know what you're going to get out of this side. Uh, week to week, they seem to have a, a different setup of players and a different squad. Um, and, and as I say, they're they're so erratic. 
Here we go. Tom Williams puts it in. It's a, great it's a good knock. ball keeper. Comes and flaps it. Harry Honesty hits it. Oh, and he'll be oh, disappointed with that. What a chance. It right. He's taken a good first touch, Harry. would expect it better. The goalkeeper, Jacko, he just keeps giving us options and we're not taking them. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a jack in the box, I think. He's definitely not a jacko in the box, that's for sure. ba -bum. Here comes the ball from Tom. It's he's a got knock. a good height on it. Back post, headed back across by Ricky. Tashan looking to get under it. The defender does well. And now Three they can two. counter. They've got numbers here. Stampede's got a lot of work to do. They've got two at the back stick. It's great, great pass. Ball. It's a great ball. Oh, and that touch is put it in front of him. Andy comes out and does just what he has he's to do. He's given a penalty. Oh, wow. He's given a penalty for that. I'll be honest, my initial thought as soon as he won the ball was it was a penalty. That is the fourth penalty given against Hashtag United in 72 hours. In fact, less than 72 hours. Four penalties in three days. What's going on, Jacko? It's a great counter-attack, to be honest. They've caught us on the hop. They were three on two initially. The first ball was the one that sliced us open. And as I say, my initial thought was as soon as the guy got to the ball first, whether there was contact, it did look like it was a pin from here, unfortunately. Andy, desperate and unlucky. It's a split-second decision, and he had to come. Ibo's going to take it on the left foot, up against Andy. Slow run up. Oh, that's oh. a good penalty. He's taken that ever so well. He's wrong-footed Andy there. Andy's gone the other way. And, uh, yeah, it's a decent hit. So, hashtag 1-0 down against Lopez Tavares at home. All right, Andy taking this free kick. Looking for Jack Harrison here. It goes beyond him, but it's going to come back to Ricky Evans. Swings it in on that it's left not foot. not bad ball. Fancy Ryan, Ryan fancy Adams Ryan. Post, oh. Tashan was there and that, he's put it over. That sums up our football at the moment. Great ball from Ricky Evans. Ryan did everything he could to try and get it either on target or for a player. Absolutely sums us up at the moment. As I say, we need something to drop for us. I think it's going to have to be a case of one hitting someone on the back of the head and going in because at the moment just doesn't want to fall for us. It's amazing how quickly these games seem to drift. When you're one nil down, how quickly things fly by. Yeah. You're looking for someone to get a foothold, and it just seems to just seems to go. It's Jack a great Harrison. ball. Ryan Adams onside. Oh, he's touched. Oh, he's strong oh. defending. It's very I tell strong. you what, I'll take a free it. kick for that because I couldn't see that myself. I thought it done well. I didn't think it was a free kick. I'll be honest, it was very close to the box as well. I think it was just outside. Yeah, it's just He'd have been thrown on goal. It is a yellow card for the defender. As you say, it's a strange decision. Letter of the law, really, he has to go. I'm trying not to yell, just hit the target, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. Ricky Evans! Oh, how's that stay yeah. Oh, and it's, it's Jack Harrison! Captain Jack strikes again off the goalkeeper. This is what you said, Jacko. Test the keeper and good things will happen. Just hit the target. To be honest, he's made a pretty good save, although it's his side and you'd expect him to make it. But Jackie H, you can't keep a good man down. As soon as he gets up the pitch, he scores a goal for us. Jack Harrison, a.k.a. Captain Jack, a.k.a. Terry Butcher for tonight, with his headband, gets the goal. And he only scores big goals, Jack. They always are important for us. As I say, he's a man for uh, he's a man when you need him. Is is Jack? Harry, honesty with the ball at his feet here, trying to whip it in. Free header. Free header. Oh, and it could be two for Jack, Jack. 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 He's got a score. He will be disappointed. He's not hit the target there. Free header. Oh, mistake. Oh, we're in again. Ryan's in again. Can he stay in front of his men? He's got two players around him, but he's got a chance to whip it in. There's no one got in there for him. nobody in the box. We're so slow oh, to react. Oh, lovely from Ryan. Play Playing advantage here. Play on, play on, Can finish. He play it back? Oh, and it's deflected. And that was, I think, the best move of the game so far from a hashtag it's perspective. A right decision by the referee to allow play on. Oh, Harry Honesty needs to up it a little bit here for us. Ah. He's got a free kick given against him. Trying to play it out of defence once more, Lopez. They don't want to go long. They don't even try it most of the time. They always want to play on the floor. And the ref's blown for half time there. Not a lot of injury time played. One all at the break. Jacko, what do you think Devs will be saying to the boys at half time? I think he'll be saying what, what we've uh, kind of set up here, Spence, to be honest with you. It's been, um, it's been a tough half. It's been disappointing to go 1 0 down. Obviously, we had the, uh, the fair share of chances before they scored. Um, but we just got to capitalise. Um, we keep saying we're unlucky, but sooner or later, we've got, to, we've got to start putting the ball in the back of the net. We can't have that many chances in one half of football and only score one goal. Well, even Stevens at Coles Park at the break to see what Devs have to say, and we'll see you for the second half. How difficult do we want to make life for ourselves? I cannot believe what I've just watched. They're only interested in what goes on in our half of the pitch. They come alive. But the game should be dead and buried. 
The reason <coughs> that it isn't is it's not just about a lack of composure, it's about a lack of anticipation. We get chances and we are taken by surprise that we've got a chance. We've got to stop playing blind passes backwards of what you do it, of what you do it. And all of a sudden we're, we're, we're chasing back towards our own goal. I've watched you and I've watched you get into great positions and bottle it from the goalkeeper as he comes flying out, hesitant. How many times have they given the ball back to us when we've put them under pressure? So put them under pressure as a unit and when he goes, be ready to back it up. Not, oh, he might win it. Because every time, every time we get it back, we catch ourselves by surprise. And that's, that's schoolboy. If I don't see an immediate reaction, an immediate reaction in our anticipation, our, self, our willingness to run. If you're just, pre just, uh, just being prepared to run will win you this game. Prepared, be prepared to go and make it happen. Not wait to see if it's good. Wait, go and make it happen. Just the willingness to do the basics will win you this game. But we're standing around waiting. It's like we've decided we no longer have to prove ourselves. <laughs> we don't have to prove anything. Well, I'm telling you now, you've all got to prove to me. Because what I'm seeing at the moment isn't acceptable. You've got five minutes for me to see an improvement. Or I will make changes. Because I've got people chomping at the bit to come on. People <coughs> chomping at the bit to come on and make a difference. About to get things underway here for the second half. Dev's asking for more anticipation, more composure in front of goal. Definitely needed if we're going to win this game and go top of the league tonight. Lopez Tavares, get things kicked off. Come on, hashtag. As I said in the first half, Spen, it's always hard. When you go 1-0 down in a game like this where you're expected to win, you do start to panic a little bit. You do start to, to make the wrong decisions in the wrong areas. We just, we need to... Uh, we need to get a grip on it. We need to compose ourselves. Oh, Jack Harris has put himself in. in. Richmond! Yeah! yeah! There it is, boys! Hashtag United take the lead. And let's just give a little bit of a shout out to Ryan Adams and Kane Brogan, who did some good work on the right-hand side. Kane whipped it in, and then what happened? Stroke of luck, really. I mean, he's hit the defender on the back. And to be fair, it's a great finish by Richo. And Richo needed that. He's needed that little work, that little slice of luck. It's a great finish. He's taken it ever so well. Very composed. What a time to score right at the start of the second half. Jack Harrison put his head where it hurts to get the flick on. And Neil Richmond puts it away with his 10th goal of the season. He's in double figures. Testament to an early goal spin. We're both stood up now. We sat down the whole first oh, half. Oh, Ricky Evans! Oh, Tashan! That's oh. a great save. He's got a score, to be honest. Tash has got a score, but the keeper's done ever so well. I thought, I don't think Ricky got anything on it. Maybe he should have. It was a little bit above him, but Tashan, it fell just on his foot and the keeper saved it. Ryan Adams doing I think, well. I think, I think Rick did get a touch on it. I think that's what brought it so quickly to Tashan's feet. He couldn't shift his feet in time, but the keeper's done ever so well to get something on it. Chance here. Oh, it's another touch from Richo straight out the top draw. Velcro. Pure Velcro. Goes back to Stampy. Stampy into Jack. That's nice. Jack to Ricky. That's lovely football. Ricky with a lovely pass over to Tom Williams. He put it too far ahead of him, though. It's the right idea. We're trying the right things there. Peds needs to get here. He goes back to Andy. Andy back to Peds. I like that. It's better cool. from hashtag. Now we've got the lead. Got something to protect. Cool and calm. Oh, what a ball he's from on. Peds. He's on. Tashan has got Ryan Adams to his right. He's got nothing Need else in right the box. now. Need bodies in the box. He's going to go back to Harry Armstrong. He takes the first touch. Hits it! Oh. That was better, though. We attacked with speed and players. It's good. We need to join in quicker. I fancied Harry to go left again to Tashan, but it's better. We look brighter all round. I think the, having a cushion of, of being a, a goal in front, all of a sudden you can just start to express yourselves a bit more and play football. OK, corner. Tom Williams with the wand of a left foot. We do one from a corner. Here's the ball. It's very near Pets, the keeper. Pets, oh, it's, Pets. oh, it's got to go in. Oh, how have we not honestly, scored? Honestly, honestly. It's, it's criminal how we haven't scored from one of his calamitous mistakes. It is the season of giving and the goalkeeper is trying to give us another goal here. But Peds doesn't want it. He could have had his first goal for the club there. And he didn't take it. Substitution for hashtag... Tashan Richmond's going to come off and Aaron Couch is going to come on. I, I assume it's going to be like for like and Couch will go in that space behind Neil Richmond. Don't forget, Jack, at the end of the game, you're going to have to pick a man in the match. You've received two of them this season. Two in a row, in fact. I might receive three after tonight. That'd be a, that'd be a first. Corner for Lopez Tavares. 
at the near post. It drops Stampy with an important header away and he's chasing it down like an absolute hound. Which I like to see from Stampy. He wins that tackle as well. This ball needs to be dealt with better than that though. It's still alive for Lopez Tavares who hits it and eventually... Living dangerously. It's deflected wide. Marcus Stan doing well but it didn't seem like the defenders he left behind were prepared to put the same sort of shift in. I'm not sure Stampy really needs to go there but we need to clear our lines. Third corner in short succession for Lopez Tavares. It's another decent ball headed. Oh, it needs to be cleared better than this. Fallen to the number seven who hits it on the left foot. Gets the deflection. Still going here with the number six. You know what? It's a good strike. It's a rocket. He's hit it hard and true. Luckily for us, it was off target. But it's a let off for hashtag. Only 2-1 up despite multiple chances. Andy with the goal kick. Looking for Aaron Couch. Doesn't win the challenge, but Jack Harrison fires it forward for Ryan He's Adams. He's onside. He's onside. He's onside. Just square side. it. Square it, oh, Ryan. That's terrible, Ryan. The That's not good enough. It wasn't really. It wasn't a shot, but it wasn't really a great cross. He needed to put it more back post if it was a cross. We needed to put some venom on it for the shot. He it, didn't it, either. It, it was always going to be tough to score from there. I think. I think he had to square it. He had to get it down and square it. Richo getting stuck in. Ryan Adams gets it to Ricky Evans. Oh, it's oh. cut out by Pinya. It's all very bitty again. The game's turned into a, a right scrap. Oh, he's fest. playing on here. Jack Harrison trying to slip oh. in Harry Honesty. Who might get there. The number four's done well. Oh, oh it's, it's got to be a penalty. penalty. That has got to be well a penalty. There, there was going to be a mistake by this keeper eventually. He's done well there, Harry. He's, he's turned a bad ball from Jack into something there. Who takes it? Who takes it? Let me give you a stat. We've had two penalties. Apart from the penalty shootout, we've had two penalties this season. We've missed them both. Willow takes it for me. You're going to let him have it again, even though he missed Saturday? Without a doubt. Have we got an official penalty taker set by Devs? Does he set one in four games? Uh, not to my knowledge, but personally, I think it's a no-brainer to have Willow on it. Well, Williams is going to take it, but if he doesn't score this for me, he can't have another one. Let's not make this goalkeeper a hero. He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve to be a hero. Don't give him the option, Tom. Put it in. Get us the 3-1 lead and hopefully three points take us top of the league. Tom Williams with the left foot of dreams. Go Finish on, Tommy. Willow. Finish Willow. Bang. He's done it again. Unbelievable. Tom. It's the same save as Saturday. Exactly the same save as Saturday. That wasn't in the corner, that. It was, that was more central, granted, but it's, it's the same save. Tom's got to be off penalties for me. I'm sorry, Jack. I know he's, I know he's your mate. You, you, you can't have them. You can't no, have no, two no. misses. Listen, I don't have mates. <laughs> Unbelievable, Tom. We make sure we win this game now, boys. We have to win this game. Can I see another substitution done now? It's going to be Daniel Adji coming on for Neil Richmond. Chance for Daniel Adji to make an impact. Think he'll do it, Jacko? Like you say earlier, I mean, this is the type of game where Dan can do well. He needs to take his chances, Dan. No, oh, I've got a gamble. So Lopez Tavares have got a spring in their step now after the missed penalty. Chance for them here against Andy. It's got to be cleared. Someone clear it. Wow. They got a big shout there for handball. I, I personally couldn't see it from his spin, but there was a big, big shout for handball, and the ref seemed to look for a long, long time at it. We're playing with fire now, boys. They've got a spring in their step. They've got something to fight for after we missed the chance to go 3-1 up. Got to score them. Zero from three is shocking. Look at that for a switch, by the way. Was that just a hit and hope, or did he know he was there? Either way, it was fabulous. <laughs> chance here for Lopez, hitting it. Do you know what, Spen? I wouldn't like to say. I don't know if he closed his eyes and hit it or did pick him out. As we said earlier, you really can't tell with this side. You don't know what you're going to get out of him. A long, hopeful punt forward from the number six here, which Tom Williams needs to deal with. Oh, he's still going, the number player here. Oh, he's still going forward. Needs to be stopped here for Lopez. Eventually, Peds forces the corner, but it is really not the finish of the game you want. Here it comes. Straight into Andy's hands here. Deal with it, boys. Deal with it. Needs to be cleared. It's a good winner. It's a good winner from Jack. Comes to the six. Who hits it? Oh, and he's almost made it through. Andy was sprawling. I think he might have had it covered, to be fair to him. Kane throws it into Couch. Couch can turn on the ball here. Just hold on to it for hashtag, please, Aaron. He's going to hit it on the left foot. Gets a deflection. Now we need to retreat. Retreat quickly, boys. It's not great game management, no spin, is it? Stampy needs to head this one away. You need a better header than that stamp. Too many times. Wow. 
There's the final whistle. It's a let-off, we have to say, for Hashtag. The good news, we get three points. We return to top of the league, as you can hear some of the boys chanting behind me. But, Jacko, it wasn't our best performance, was it? Not by a long chalk. And I know that the lads will be walking off to there today feeling that it was more of, it felt like a defeat. And it is a win. We have to remember that. So we do need a man of the match, Jacko. Who, who for you, is the best player? And we're going to say it's going to go to someone in a Hashtag shirt, obviously, with a win. I'll be honest with you, Spen. <laughs> that's that's the toughest thing I've been asked in a long while. Um, I think probably for me, Jack Harrison. I think um, just because you know what you get out of Jack. Um, Gets the goal, got an assist. Knit, knit I think. the goal, an assist. Um, industrious workman, like in the middle of the park. But all round, I think the uh, the general feeling is that's not good enough from us, and we've got to uh, we've got to improve. Yep. Well done to Jack stepping into the midfield in the absence of a few other players today. So uh, we'll take the win. We can definitely get better, but more importantly, we are top of the league. Let's go to see what Devs has to say after that performance. And 2-1 win versus Lopez Tavares. <coughs> right, I'm delighted. Absolutely delighted. I'm delighted because we've, we've somehow... We've somehow, somehow managed to come out of that with three points. At half time I said about an immediate reaction. We went out and we just showed a little bit more intent, a little bit more public. And actually, the thing that I'm ask, I was asking for in the first half, we end up scoring from. Because he goes and he just goes and he puts his head in on a, on a, on a not a great ball, not a great ball in, but he went and he made something and he gave the defender a decision to make and the, def and the defender pulls out, he nicks the header and we get in and we get a goal. But I used the word naive on Saturday and we've shown it again tonight in so many ways. When you're into the last, last few minutes of a game and you've got a victory, it is about game management and decision making. I watch you head the ball inside, trying to keep it live, and you're in my earshot when I'm saying to him, just head the ball wide, and then we get a throw and you're heading it inside and putting them on the attack. It's just about... At that time, it was about killing the game. I'm glad we ain't got to play them again. They're difficult to play against. They're dangerous if we're not doing the right things. We've got to improve. We've got to be better. We've got to be smarter. The win's brilliant, but we've trying to, we're trying to be better than that. We want to be better than that. All right? So we've got to have standards. So we can't go away happy with that performance today. That said, again, you've reacted to going a goal down. You've won the game. You showed a response, and it was enough. So well, well done, well done. But we have one hell of a long way to go. Hell of a long way to go. So I'm here, Ryan Adams. How's the match for you, Ryan? Um, safe to say it wasn't our best. Uh, the performance was well below par of the standards we've set. But you know, we stuck in there after going a goal down. Managed to get back to the back to the three points. So yeah, got to be happy with that. And you've played a lot of minutes over the last few days, haven't you? How are you holding up? Yeah, just a few. I mean, 120 Saturday and 90 today. Um, didn't expect 90 today, but I think we uh, kind of done that for ourselves, really. So just had to put the hard work in, really, and just grind that win out. And that is a wrap, guys. What a game that was. I told you it was going to be a good game. And now this is what the league's looking like. Hashtag United are currently back in first position. That is what we like to see. So our next game is against Harwich and Parkston away. However... Our next home game is against Newbury Forest on the 15th of December, the last game until Christmas. And because of that, we're gonna be doing a huge Christmas giveaway. It's gonna be free entry for anyone that comes if they can prove that they went to the Wembley Cup. But also we're gonna be giving away Adidas boots. We're gonna be giving away a scuff controller and much more stuff. So check our socials on how you can come to that game. We wanna see you there, we love your support. But as always guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like down below. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And as always, don't get the hashtag yet.